Hello all, Matt here from the Bluebell Model Railway channel. Uh, here with a model review of another carriage. Uh, this one is a Monsell carriage from Hornby once more. I've uh, got a few of these now, some in lined and unfortunately this one unlined. Uh, so this is R40030 which is a third class uh, dining saloon, uh, number 1363. Uh, I believe there's two of these available in uh, different number forms. Uh, this one I went for because it's the closest to the one on the Bluebell of course. Uh, so this goes with the other carriage which uh, they released a little bit earlier which is the restaurant car or kitchen car. Uh, this came out a few years ago. Um, nice model but again unlined. Um, so we'll stick to this one for now. Um, so the carriage itself is in unlined Monsell olive green. Uh, so this is possibly depicting uh, through the war years onwards when the lining was removed and possibly maintenance wasn't uh, or painting wasn't a priority. So uh, just plain olive green. It is incredibly bare looking at it. Um, certainly missing the lining on this. Uh, certainly could have done with some. Lining is available from Fox so you know what I'll be up to in the next couple of weeks. Um, the prints on the carriage doors and on the side of the carriage itself is quite quite nice and neat and neatly applied. I've uh, got a nice uh, detail on the side where the sheets have been uh, put together. Um, the glazing is flush, nice and flush with some vents on the top. Um, the actual grab handles on the door are separately fitted which is nice. Sprung buffers of course on these models and your standard NEM pocket underneath. Detail underneath is standard Monsell Affair, so you've got your um, cam NEM pocket, you've got your metal wheels, step boards etc. Uh, battery boxes, vacuum, vacuum actuators and dyno. All nice and detail on the roof. A few vents, uh, torpedo vents, uh, nothing too exciting on there, grey roof. Um, again, Hornby, as I say, I messaged them about a lack of lining and they said um, it's a later version, even though on the original press release these were supposed to be lined. So obviously they changed their minds on that as well. Um, the reason I'm making a big point about the uh, lining or lack of it is because mainly the rest of the monsters they released a lot earlier say about 2010 or a bit earlier around that time are all lined um, so they're early 30s um, so that's a bit of a shame they won't actually go together or match it's a nice carriage but could have been nicer especially for the price these days they're about 55 60 pounds um, picked this one up from derails got here very quickly uh, so thanks to them but also what's interesting about this carriage for example is um, the pack that comes with it so in here we have closer couplings as well as some uh, destination boards which are blank so you can put your own destinations on there but an introduction of a different or new coupling um, so as you can see these are alternative couplings if preferred I use KD's so I won't be using any of these KD 19's on these if you are using KD's but it's these what caught my attention so you can see here they look like uh, vacuum pipes any vacuum pipes but they're also magnetic um, so this is a first for Hornby um, actually look quite nice um, so if you're wanting to uncouple it's a pull apart uh, kind of thing you've got the old standard pipe which seems to droop quite a lot I had these originally on first set I had. So these are the closer clipped together couplings uh, which I don't particularly like to be quite frank with you. There you go, like so. Um, don't like these, they do droop and break quite easily which is why I went over to KDs. But these are quite uh, quite nice I have to say but the problem is uh, my other Monsell carriage, the, the kitchen or restaurant car, whatever you want to call it, um, 
doesn't come with them. So I don't know if we're going to release these as a separate part. Uh, would be probably quite uh, good if they did. Um, but uh, it's a bit of a shame they only include these with this carriage, but I haven't had them with the other one. Um, so that's quite a nice addition. Um, but apart from that, it's just a bog standard olive green carriage with not much to say about. It does run with the restaurant carriage and possibly some other open thirds as well, but were later converted and changed. Um, the interior is reasonable, just a, a moulded interior with painted seats, painted tables. Um, I think too exciting in there, but again, add some people in there, probably help. And as I say, it goes with uh, this monster kitchen car. I mean, the greens are slightly different as well. Maybe different factories, who knows. Um, but both of these would be lined by me. Um, Hornby said this one was never lined, which was a lie as well, because I've got a picture of one which is lined. Um, to which they didn't reply, which is strange. Maybe they've been proven wrong. But uh, again, uh, mid-30s to 40s, uh, no lining. Um, nice detail on the roof, uh, vents, etc. Water tank there. I um, don't quite know what happened to the uh, detail pack with this one. It's probably floating around somewhere. Um, but nice table lamps in there. Shame they're not lit. Um, but there you go. Um, but overall, okay. But for the price, everybody wants more for their money these days. And the problem is, you know, we're spending 50, 60 pounds on these carriages now. And this is what we're getting. They're okay, but they're lacking. Um, nice carriages, but could be more. A uh, bit of a shame. Uh, big, big shout out to uh, Derails, so thanks to that, and thanks to them for shipping so quickly. And uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you in a little bit more of a detailed uh, carriage review in the not too near future. Or some other locomotive I've purchased and forgotten about. Anyway, take care everyone, and uh, see you in the next one. I'd add this on the end as I only have one pair of these couplings with the uh, um, open dining saloon. Um, you can see the magnetic couplings on here, and they're a nice close couple, bit of uh, separation, but not too much. Again, it's the sagging of the um, not the pocket necessarily, they seem to retort the pockets on these, they're a bit tighter. Um, certainly, a one hell of a job to try and get the uh, NEM uh, tension lock out. Um, so just fitted these to have a look at them. They seem pretty good. Um, don't dangle too low and reasonably firm. And as you can see, it's quite a fair bit of effort to get them apart. So yeah, not too bad. They seem to be heading towards magnetic couplings these days, which I will say it's good for a fixed set of carriages, but not so much sort of freight and things like that because you may want to shunt them or uncouple them automatically, which I find KDs are a much better and stronger fit because they don't seem to break away. I have had some magnetic couplings which struggled to fit any end pockets. I'm not going to mention names, uh, but I think we all know who. Um, and also they break quite easily. Magnets fall out, and also, uh, as I say, the downside of it for me is you can't uncouple them um, unless you're the hand of God. Um, so I think for for carriage sets, great, but for freights and wagons or goods or whatever, um, probably need something that you can easily uncouple without the hand of God or anything like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this review. Just thought I'd add this on the end and uh, see you in the next one.